Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at these GE Auradescent 25 watt flame shaped, or I call them fire, incandescent bulbs. These were in a package of a bunch of other bulbs at the thrift store recently, so let's take a look at them. As you can tell, they've definitely been on a shelf for a while because the plastic here, at least the glue edges, have turned yellow. So it's definitely an older version of this. I'm not sure if GE still does the iridescent kind of, you know, it looks like an oil spill in a parking lot. You know, everybody's seen that. That's what it looks like. It has that uh, rainbow shine to it. <clears throat> These are nice 25 watt versions. I'm sure they came in 40 and 60 watt as well. Two bulbs naturally, and there's the information at the bottom. On the back, we have a couple example pictures medium base. Of course, these also came in smaller, uh, I think like F15 sizes as well. Made in USA. Very nice. So let's go ahead and see if we can open them up here. I'm sure the packaging has already been through a lot over the years, but we'll see if we can open it appropriately here without destroying it too much. And surprisingly, this is going quite well. Look at that. Hey, not bad. Okay, now the first thing that really struck my eye when I saw these in the bag at the thrift store was the filament. I thought they were broken at first glance, but no, it turns out it's just a horizontal filament with zero supports in the middle. There's nothing. Look, it's just a horizontal filament. What a terrible design, but GE did this for a while, and they did it in the regular A- 19, you know, incandescent uh, 25 watt bulbs as well. And for whatever reason, yeah, they just never put a support in the middle. So it looked terrible like this. Um, older versions of this, I'm pretty sure had a very nice C-shaped filament in there. But this is one of the horizontal, you know, I mean, they could have put a support there. I mean, you already got the structure for it. Just do it. I don't know why. It just bothers me. On the base here, we do have the etch that they were doing at the time. They'd print it kind of on the bottom here. 25 watt, 120 volt. What does that say? C-S-A-G-E. Can't really tell what that is. Is that the number that's on the package? No. Very nice. Let's go ahead and put it into our socket here. Let's turn it on. Here we go. Ooh, now you can really see that shine of that iridescent look. That is awesome. Boy, I haven't seen one of these bulbs on in a long time, to be honest. You get that very nice look here at the top. The blue and green. There it is from the side. Awesome. Okay, we're running at 118.4 volts right now. 23.3 watts. 0.19 amps, and naturally a power factor of 1, as it is an incandescent bulb. So, let's turn off the lights here. And I'll hold it above the camera with the horizontal filament facing down. We get a lux of, what we have there? About 50, if I can hold it still. If I turn it, you know, this way so the filament isn't necessarily directly on it, we get about 36 so it really depends on what way you have the, the filament oriented naturally. You know, if it's like that, you're not going to get as many lumens as, you know, the whole side of it. Okay, you get that beautiful iridescent color. I really like that. Yeah, I haven't seen one of these bulbs in a long time. Let's go ahead and unplug it here. And we'll put it into our... Variac, turn that on. Here we go, let's dim it down. 100, 80, 60, and you're still getting that wonderful color even with it dimmed. 50, 40 right there. Not so much color. Getting more of the filament color in there. Yeah, just so interesting with the horizontal filament. I wonder what it would look like with a C-shaped one in there, like I'm sure they originally came. Yeah, 
and back up to 120. Yeah, just look at that. The color changes. And of course, if I hold it up here, you can see, you know, just the design pattern that it provides too with this shape. It's very cool. Okay, let's turn the lights back on here. That really all there is to say about the GE Oridescent fire bulbs here. It's a very nice find. Like I say, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. I think the only other ones I have in the collection are Sylvania or something like that. So these are a very nice, you know, especially with that horizontal filament. That's just so bizarre, you know. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. And also please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.